There are so many buses here to explore. There's around 50 or so. There's two sections to this thing. There's one half, which are pretty much abandoned, which is left up front. Thank you to the owner, by the way, for letting me do this. And there's another section in the back that's pretty much they're working on buses to get them prepared and sent out to schools and so on and so on. With that being said, let's get into the video. I'm excited to check this out. Let's do this. Hey boy. Something crawling around in the grass right there while I was trying to shoot. It's probably a snake or an alligator. I'm just joking. It's probably a turtle or something. So there's one of the hoods that went on into this one. So here's the bus engine. So this is what it looks like inside the engine. Okie dokie, here we go. So there's all the wires that control the bus. That's cool. Look at all this. It's really spooky to be honest. Let's get on that one right there. Yo ho! So we're inside one of the buses. As you can tell beside me, there's two buses on this side. And there's a whole bunch on this side as well. So here's the control panel. All the switches. Impressive. It's a flathead bus. Let's go check this one out. I have to use my phone, by the way. Whoa, -ho, good thing we could come here. Wow. Jeez, it smells. There's the camera right there. There's a camera right there. And there's a camera right there. This one's loaded with cameras. Must have had some bad kids on this school bus. Now it's kind of hard to see, but if you look right there, you can see some insulation on top of the bus. So look above me, there's a wasseness. I'm not going to even bother going in this one honestly. The view is okay over here, so 
I'll take this view any day. So the insulation that you just saw is right here in this little window. Looks like somebody decided to just take out two of the windows. Whoa. Somebody took apart this one for sure. And you can tell the window's pretty much gone too. I guess I'll go back on this one because they're all the same. But you can at least see, oh, look at this. What's up with the seats? Like, look at this. What are they all like this for? And there's a hole in the bus right here. Huh. How close is too close? Let's see if we can get through it. Come on, we can get through it. Yeah. That's that bus we were just at. I want you to guys tell me what do you think about this bus graveyard? Like I said before, this is interesting to me and I really want to show you guys this area. And it's been a while since I found something interesting. I finally found something that is interesting. So it's just like the other one. It's a broken seat right there. All the windows are down on both sides to keep the smell level down. I don't know if anybody remembers these. The cameras that they had. You better do what the sign says, watch your step. Wow, even more buses. I see some white ones down there. Let's go check those out. Oh, okay, maybe, oh, okay, so this one's pretty much stripped of its color, and the other one's white. Is it possible to get in or no? Just like the other buses, they're all the same pretty much. This is different. It's a different style of controls instead of how we have on the other ones. If you look down here, it's hard to see on camera, but it goes up to 85 miles an hour and it's empty. Well, I don't know. I think all cars are like that when you turn them off. It could be full. this spot so you can see an entire view of all the buses around me there's over 150 buses here that are abandoned and are now sitting here just take a look they go behind row their row behind row behind row hope you
you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. What better yet to get some footage driving out and seeing all the buses on the side. And over there. That is so cool. So, so cool. And like I said, there's over 150 abandoned buses here, which is insane. So it's pretty much a bus graveyard, so it's time to get to the next spot.